Hey everyone, so I attended the lecture titled Cosmic Rays, Alien Invaders from Outer Space. So I went to this lecture because I thought the title was interesting, I've always been interested in space and stuff, plus, you know, it was the last one of the semester. So the main points of the lecture were what are cosmic rays, how are they discovered, what are their effects, and how are they detected. So first off, cosmic rays are very high energy particles, mainly originating from outside the solar system, and they are believed to come from black holes, supernovas, and pulsars. So I thought that the energy produced by these cosmic rays was the most interesting thing that I learned. So when there's a nuclear explosion, gamma rays are emitted with a frequency of about 10 to the 19th hertz. But with these cosmic rays, that can reach upwards to 10 to the 30 with an energy produced of 3 times 10 to the 20 electron volts. So cosmic rays were first discovered by a guy named V.F. Hess in an experiment where he took equipment up in a hot air balloon and he noticed that the radiation increased as he rose higher and he received a Nobel Prize for his work in 1936. And as for the effects and applications of cosmic rays, so first off, they can be used for radiocarbon dating. They have a negative effect on the functionality of electronics and circuit boards. And they can also be used as possible seeds for creating lightning. So how are these cosmic rays detected? Well, one such method is to use a large number of telescopes and to spread them over a very wide area and one of these locations is actually in the South Pole. So as a follow-up to something not discussed in the lecture, while cosmic rays are harmless to humans because of the Earth's magnetic field, they can inflict damage on life outside the protection of an atmosphere. Alright, and uh, that's it, so thanks for watching my video.